Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. The owner of Lutz-based Olympus Pool says the state has ordered him to shut down. On Saturday, Olympus owner James Staten announced that the state was forcing him to voluntarily relinquish his license. And tonight, hundreds of Bay Area pool owners are trying to figure out what that shutdown means for them. Eight on your side, Shannon Bacon has been investigating Olympus Pools for months, and Shannon joins us live in studio with more. Homeowners tell me they have mixed emotions. Their hope that Olympus could keep its promises to finish every single pool, those hopes now are dashed. At the same time, many applaud the state for holding the company accountable, but now the big question is, what's next? This was supposed to look like it was going to have waterfalls, it was going to have fountain jets. Christopher Deal is one of hundreds left with a home for mosquitoes instead of a swimming pool after forking over thousands to Olympus pools. He says his pool has sat like this for months, and now that Olympus has closed its doors for good, he's at a loss for how to finish the pool by himself. Frustrated, uh, confused, I don't know what's next now. You know, Deal just... sure isn't the only one feeling this way. Olympus customers all over the Bay Area are now in panic mode, calling other companies or transferring permits into their own names so they can hire contractors to finish one phase at a time. Olympus owner James Staten issued a statement on Facebook announcing the closure, saying the state has forced him to voluntarily relinquish his license. Passing blame on the media, passing blame to employees. I've heard all the stories and everything and shortages. I, I don't buy it. This closure comes weeks after Staten told me he planned to finish every pool by Christmas. But last week, everything changed. Jordan Hildago, who two months ago agreed to partner with Olympus to buy half of the company, walked away, saying the company was not in the same position it appeared originally. That same day, contractors moved forward with foreclosing on homeowners, saying Olympus failed to pay them for completed work. This is not just a monetary loss. Like, this is physically draining. As for Deal, as he scrambles to come up with a plan for his backyard, he worries about who he can turn to for help. How do you trust a company now with everything that you've been through of, of putting money down, you know, and, and now they're, they're closing doors? Moments ago, the DBPR sent me a copy of the signed settlement agreement with James Staten. In addition to relinquishing his license, the agreement says that Staten would have to pay fines of $1.43 million in order to obtain a Florida license again. Yeah, that seems very unlikely considering the circumstances yeah. here. And you got to feel for these homeowners. How are they ever going to get their money back? Because not only what they originally invested, some of them, as you pointed out on Friday, have liens. Now they're actually paying more on top of what they've already given. My heart breaks for the yeah. homeowners, Keith. Homeowners can apply for Florida's homeowners construction recovery fund but I will tell you it's a complicated process and there are limits as to how much each homeowner could recover you should look into that though and do it really quickly meanwhile law enforcement investigations and the Florida Attorney General's investigation continues it's a big story thank you for breaking it Shannon and if you have a problem that needs solving you better call Beck and you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon or give her a call there's the number 1855 Beckett